and I'm the canon's uh, lawyer. Uh, if I your for uh, a slam new charge as a joke, uh, taking too far, and that is what it is. And I'm the canon's uh, lawyer, Barrister. If I need your for, uh, we paid a visit to the IPOB, uh, IPOB leader in DSS uh, custody today. Uh, called the new 15 count uh, charge, uh, the biggest uh, abuse of the court uh, process ever, and a joke carried too far. Uh, today we were uh, served uh, with a 15 count uh, amended charge uh, filed uh, by the Federation's uh, Director of uh, Public uh, Prosecutions in connection with a case already scheduled for in a second place and uh, the case has been adjourned. Uh, for during uh, preliminary objection uh, contesting the seven count uh, charge, uh, amended uh, charge is a competence. Uh, this is uh, indeed a joke. As the federal government of Nigeria uh, is now looking for a way to cut uh, short uh, the uh, hearing, and they have done so. And uh, also, whether in Nigeria or anywhere else in the world, uh, we would like to state categorically uh, that this uh, further amendment charge is the worst kind of uh, abuse of legal process that we have ever seen in the history of legal practice. Hmm. Uh, whether in Nigeria or not, uh, this 15 count uh, amended uh, charge uh, was most uh, likely brought in bad uh, faith in order to prolong uh, the case's uh, proceedings uh, unnecessarily. Uh, yes, uh, the same uh, federal government of Nigeria that brought our clients to court is uh, the same uh, federal government uh, and certain actions that will cause the trial to be delayed. Yes, they are delaying it definitely. It's worth nothing that uh, and uh, amended a uh, seven count uh, charge, uh, which has been uh, pending against the uh, Onion Dumas and Amdekano since October 20th, 2021, and uh, a, a preliminary uh, objection has been made against this uh, his person, uh, this seven count uh, amendment charge. Uh, the parties have, uh, have filed uh, and uh, exchanged all processes and uh, arguments related to the objection and the hearing date has been scheduled yes uh, when the case comes up for a uh, year or definitely had uh, been adjourned uh, yes the case would be adjourned uh, till uh, uh, further notice which uh, according to none the courts uh, will definitely you know keep you know adjourning the case well uh, you can watch a little of a video in court Yeah, let's move a little bit further uh, by explaining more. Speak well of Nigeria. Uh, as it has been said, I would say the uh, lawyer to Namdekanu, uh, the foreign lawyer to Namdekanu said that the judicial uh, uh, aspect of Nigeria has, uh, let me say, has a uh, compromise. Uh, that is uh, what uh, the white man said. He spoke uh, by saying he was denied access to courtroom for uh, five uh, consecutive uh, time, and this is uh, what uh, uh, is embedded in the Nigerian Constitution. Uh, because I would say, if you had adopted a democracy and you believe a democracy uh, is what you really like uh, to adopt, why uh, are you still not practicing that democracy? You know, all athletely and uh, acting upon uh, uh, with impunity rather uh, yes uh, acting uh, with impunity and then uh, making sure uh, that uh, you frustrate your citizens yes it is the citizens of nigeria that suffered a whole lot about uh, this uh, particular uh, uh, democracy that is being practiced by this uh, present administration uh, they are acting on impunity yes an american whose case has been adjourned uh, due to you know uh, i would say uh, in my own opinion, I would say uh, due to lies mm, from the angle of the, uh, the Nigerian government. And these, those that are doing this are just, you know, they are not far-fetched. Uh, Malami and the judiciary, those are the ones doing this. Uh, they will tell you, uh, Buhari say, Buhari, they have told Buhari what to do. Buhari will say, do you want me to contradict uh, my attorney general? Mm, Buhari may not want to contradict uh, his attorney general, uh, who uh, is Malami. So he, he wouldn't dare, he would not, uh, because he believes he does not really know much about, he uh, uh, does not know much about uh, uh, constitution or law. And that is why he will tell you 
do you want me to contradict my Afoni uh, general of the federation hmm. well uh, in the other hand uh, Tinumbu uh, is clamoring for uh, her presidency and uh, that is what I believe uh, he wants for himself come 2023 uh, those so many people said that uh, he has not made his intention known uh some people said ah uh, he has told Buhari. he came out and said i told Buhari and he had not told, oh, he has not told um, the nigerian or the public uh, i would say well tell him Buhari, tell him the public uh, that is your opinion if you really uh, have an uh, intention to go out for presidency come 2023 uh, it's left for you uh, that is uh, your own palaver uh, it's none of any nigeria's uh, business uh, it's just that uh, if you eventually emerge as uh, the winner in come 2023 or if there is election as, as uh, if there will be election because uh, the urban nation says uh, there won't be election in the come 2023 and the ego they would say you release in americano you don't release in americano they are of nigeria because they don't have anything to do with uh, nigeria yes they said marriage is not by force. Mm. Uh, according to the Igbos, they say marriage is not by force. So uh, I would say marriage is not. Well, uh, Nabekanu uh, definitely you know, meets his family members and uh, lawyers. Uh, as he arrives at uh, the I uh, call uh, definitely the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra who were talking about uh, concerning this case. Uh, uh, the people of Biafra and Nabekanu, as you know, met with his uh, uh, people and welcome by a uh, lawyers and family members uh, that is what it is uh, this is how you will see that uh, the nigerian government uh, would you know continue or continually you know prolong or extend the or adjourn the case in the quest to report that the situations at the federal high court in abuja they stated that namkana has finally arrived there at the high court uh, they went uh, for that to share some pictures of Namde Kanu with his lawyers and family members. Uh, that is what it is. Uh, BBC definitely uh, broadcasters added that Namde Kanu was able to meet with his family members before venturing to the High Court, where the video posted on, on social media by the uh, news agency. Uh, definitely, this is what it is. Yeah, thanks for listening. You're listening to Independent TV 7.